Future generations will judge the actions the world takes in this moment. There are, of course, many complexities, but at its most fundamental, this is a clash between oppression and autocracy on the one hand and freedom and democracy on the other. We must all ensure that freedom and democracy prevail. I always thought and hoped that war on this scale in Europe was something I would only know of through history lessons at school. But sadly, after this morning, it is part of our daily lives once again. I support the UK government and allies around the world in their condemnation of this Russian war and their united efforts to avert further bloodshed. We can only hope and pray they will succeed. And we stand with the people of Ukraine. Thank you. It is a dark day, and my party and I stand in solidarity with the people of Ukraine. Vladimir Putin's attack on Ukraine is unprovoked and unjustifiable. Across the world today, the message is clear. Peace and democracy must prevail, and we will not bend to Vladimir Putin's imperial ambitions. Today's escalation of a Russian invasion which started in 2014 is a flagrant and grievous breach of international law, one which must be responded to in the most comprehensive terms. The city of Kiev is twinned with the city of Edinburgh. That relationship has to mean something. So we must be prepared to offer all those fleeing that conflict safe harbour in the villages and towns of Scotland. Today, the Parliament and all parties in it speak with one voice. We utterly condemn the expansionist aggression of the Russian regime and stand in total solidarity with the people of Ukraine.